Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a fall haul and I am so excited about this. I feel like I haven't filmed a haul in a while and I absolutely love hauls. And anytime I do a haul though, I usually get asked the question like, how do I have money to do these hauls? How do I buy my clothes? Kind of how do I save money? How do I get money? Stuff like that. And I do a variety of things. I'd say I'm pretty good at budgeting well and always making sure that when I'm spending money, I'm getting money back in in return, whether that be um, side things that I do like babysitting or photography or my YouTube videos. I always try to make sure that I'm getting money in the bank and, and have that money be more than I'm spending just so that I always have a consistent flow of cash in my bank account. I think overall I just like to buy my clothes on sale, budget well, and think of ways to monetize my skills. But another way to make money online is to do online surveys and there's a website that easily allows you to do that called Opinion Outpost. So the goal of this website is there is companies that want to get people's opinions on their products and their avenue to get that information is on this website so people that use the internet can take these surveys and there is an incentive towards it. First off, the website is super easy to use. It's free to sign up and you can start taking surveys right as you sign up. What's really awesome is the incentives that you get by taking the surveys. So depending on how many you, you take, you can get an Amazon gift card, an iTunes gift card, and you can even get money sent directly to your PayPal. Also, members are able to sign up for a quarterly $10,000 giveaway. Um, so just by taking surveys, you can be entered into a chance to win $10,000. So sounds pretty awesome to me. <laughs> I think this website will be awesome for you if you want to make a little bit of extra money on the side, you have some free time, and you want your voice to be heard, because that really is the overall goal of Opinion Outpost. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll have the link down below and get to taking some surveys. <laughs> Alright, so now I'll just move right on to all of the clothes. Alright, so I'm going to begin with Marshalls because... That's where I get most of my clothes, honestly. It's probably my favorite store ever, and where I live now, there's one four minutes down the road, so it's pretty dangerous. Okay, so I'm doing this new thing where I have on my phone a list of clothing items that I need. Okay, that I don't need, but like that I really want, want and I don't want to buy anything unless it's on that list because I just keep getting repeats of stuff, and I'm like, I could have spent this money on something that I actually will like need and I don't have. Um, so one of the things was just I need more sweaters for the fall time. I got one and this one is so cute. A lot of the times I don't like sweaters but I really like this one. So it's just this really nice like dusty mauve kind of blush color. And I like how it has this little detailing right here. It's just kind of like cut but then it has like strings. I don't know if you can tell. It's really cool. Um, and then it's just like this and it's a little bit longer in the back and I just always roll up the sleeves. So this is super cute. Easy to just style with some boots or like a vest or something and this was only $13 so I thought that was good for a sweater. Another thing that I needed was a flannel so I saw this one and I just really liked the quality of it. It's really soft and just like comfortable. It still has that total flannel feel to it so this is originally from Abercrombie & Fitch but I got it at Marshalls and I just like the colors of it. It's just like navy and it like kind of like a teal blue and then red and it has like a different pattern at the bottom but I really like this. Usually I just wear these with like a plain t-shirt underneath and I just have it like unbuttoned um, and then you can dress this up with like a fancy like headband or something that I got, which I'll show you. I'll get that now, but um, I really like this and it was a good deal. So this is the headband that I got. Um, I was going to wear it for the video, but I don't know. It's just like it kind of looked weird. Oh, that's kind of cute. I got this at Ulta and it was like $13, but I had a coupon for 20% off, so it ended up being $10. Um, but I just love this just to spice up your hair a little bit. So super glad I got this. Then I got this shirt from Marshalls, and this is one of my favorites. I love this style. I think it's just so me. So it's just like a, looks like a plain kind of maroon t-shirt. Then the sleeves, look at that. They just like are fluttery. It's like two layers of flutter. It's the softest shirt ever. Like I'm seriously in love with this. I've worn it so many times. Um, you can make it like really girly, but then also wear it with like black ripped jeans. It's usually what I do in like a nice black kind of western belt. And it just makes it look more edgy, but it's still girly. So... I absolutely love this, and I love this, like, fluttery sleeve style that's coming in. I'm on board. All right, then I got this, which seems a little weird, but I just, I, I imagined an outfit in my head, and I decided I'm going to roll with it. So this was $20, and it's just this, like, sweater, but it's, like, a no-sleeve sweater. Um, and this, the neck is just kind of mock-necked, but I was just going to wear this with, like, a plain like dark charcoal gray shirt underneath that I have and then just kind of like wear this with leggings and like high like black over the knee boots I think that would be so cute I'm excited about this because sometimes like I feel like my outfits are just kind of really too basic and like I don't try to like put pieces together in like a unique way so I thought that since this was kind of unique that I'd try to style it 
Then I got this top, which is pretty summery, but I was just going to wear it with a cardigan. It's kind of like, I don't know how I feel. I liked it when I put it on, like tucked in with jeans, but it's just like high neck. Um, and it's just like a lilac color with like nice pretty floral on it. The one thing that I don't really like is the sleeves, how they have like this. And with like a pair of nice heels, I think it'll just look really like put together and classy. So yeah, and it was $10 on sale, so. Also from Marshalls, I got this simple top, but I have been seeing this all over Instagram. A lot of bloggers will wear shirts like this. They're just like plain and then just have like a little, it's not even like peplum, but kind of at the bottom. Um, and I see a lot of them get these at Nordstrom for like $30, but I think I got this for like $15 at Marshalls. So, yeah, and I really like this like blush color. So, this is so cute. It's just really easy to throw on with like a nice pair of jeans and kind of whatever shoes you want. So, yeah, you can find these types of shirts at Marshalls. So I love these wrap tops, so I got this one at Marshalls, and this is just a really nice kind of sage green color. Um, it just kind of ties, and I like how the sleeves are just kind of normal, like they don't have like an opening like one of mine does, and this is just super pretty. Oh my gosh, this with that headband that I showed you guys, I think that'd be so cute. So this is just a really nice, girly, flattering top. Also from Marshalls, I got these shoes, and I have needed black booties so badly. Like, I've just, I have like three pairs of brown ones. I don't know why I didn't have any black. So I got these ones, only $25, and they're like this nice suede material, and like the ankle gets like really thin, which is nice, because my ankle is so small, and like nothing is tight on it, but this is really tight on it, and oh, I just love it. These are so great and like so inexpensive. They're the perfect kind of height. They definitely give me... A little bit of height so I'm like 5'5 five five when I wear these probably which is crazy for me and then to go with those shoes I got these pairs of socks um, it came with these kind of like light tan color and then um, like a light gray um, but those are dirty so I just wear these and just kind of scrunch them down underneath the boots and it just gives like a different it gives a little bit in between the boot and like your jeans so I think that's super cute it just makes your outfit look more put together so these are only like seven dollars for a pack of two and they're really nice quality so love these also I needed tennis shoes because my Nike ones just got totally torn up in my like when I went to Mexico for a mission trip so I found these ones on sale $18 perfectly my size because they were they just they were the display um so they were like on sale they kind of look like Yeezys or something like I just really like these and they're good like they're heavy um so I think these are super cute and just good for a casual day then from Dillard's I got one thing and it's just this dress this is just like a little t-shirt dress it's kind of flowy um, it's just black and then has, I don't know, this like grayish, yeah, it's a gray little pattern on it. It just flows out and then the sleeves are three quarter length. And this is really cute just with your hair down and like over the knee boots or even those other boots that I showed you. So really easy and you can really dress it up or down and it's really soft. Then from Forever 21, I first got this top that I'm wearing right now. And it's just this bodysuit that's off the shoulder and then the sleeves have that little, I don't know if you can tell, a little flutter which is so cute and I wear it with this skirt which is from H&M actually but I got this on sale for $10 and this is like my favorite skirt ever it like actually fits me in the waist it's like tight enough and it was so inexpensive I love the color of it I just love how it zips up it's like a great length and it doesn't sometimes like skirts will like flow out like really a weird triangle and not like stick well to my body like it just looks t way too big but this fits just perfectly and it looks so cute with this outfit Alright, back to Forever Tune 1. Then I got this shirt, and this is just great and casual. It's really cute, but it's a little bit, it's a lot wrinkly right now. Um, but it's just this maroon top, and it has, like, black little embroidery with, like, silver kind of sequin detailing all down it. And then the sleeves are just, like, cinch up right here, and then also at the bottom. So it's just kind of like a little peasant shirt. But peasant is kind of my style. So this is great, just with jeans and boots. Great for a nice, chill fall day. This shirt is super basic as well, but I just love tops like this. It's just a striped army green and white shirt, and then it has the little um, lace-up in the front, and it just kind of flows out. It's just a really nice, easy shirt that's really comfortable and good for my just casual days. Then I got this shirt, which looks really plain, but I like to dress it up and like wear this with like um, all black jeans and like that black western belt that I was telling you guys about. You've probably seen something like it like on Urban. But the difference with this shirt is it's like holy, so it's like pretty edgy, which is not really my style, but I don't know, I thought I could style it cute, and I have, so I like it. Alright, lastly, we'll move on to Hollister. The first thing I got from there is a sweater that I absolutely love. This is so cute. It's just like this plain white sweater, 
and it's like distressed it has little holes in it but I just wear this like off the shoulder with um just like a plain kind of thicker black tank top underneath and it's just so cute I love this so much it's just like it feels like I'm on the beach but like it's still fall and favorite sweater ever and I love the color of it just a nice white then I got this top and it's just army green and then the sleeves have that like flow out again and you can tell I really like that so and then the back oops 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 the back is really cute because it has this cut out and I just think that just adds so much to it. And I think it's so adorable. Hollister just has great little like basics like this that you can just throw on for the day and really like dress up or down. Then I got this dress and I got this in store and literally like it was so on sale. I got this for like $8 and this is just such a beautiful dress. So it's just this really pretty light kind of robin egg blue color and it's off the shoulder and lace. And I have some pictures in this which I posted but this is so cute and like it was so inexpensive so I could not pass this up. Then lastly, I got this top, and this is kind of summery, but I don't know, I think it's so cute and you could still wear it for fall. Basic white off-the-shoulder top. I just like the way it flows. It just looks really nice. Um, it's cute with a bralette, and I love this. I don't know, it's super, super soft, and it just flows so well and fits really nicely. I definitely recommend this. <laughs> it's on sale on the website, I'm pretty sure. Well, I know for sure it's on sale when I got it, because I don't buy things when they're not on sale, but I think it's still on there. Alright, so that's everything that I'm going to be showing you guys today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you'd like to see more hauls and what your favorite thing was that I got and where is your favorite place to shop at. I'd love to know. So I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!